And today's video is how to play some chord melody. It's one thing to teach the details of a song, but more important is a strategy for working it out. Obviously, you'll need some kind of a chart or knowledge of the song, and I'll cover that in another video. But here, for now, are four steps to learning chord melody. Step one, fill in the blanks. Step two, work out your fingerings. Step three, learn micro habits. And step four, break the song into chunks. <laughs> Chord melody is just what it sounds like. Chords and melody. But unlike piano, it's not always practical or even possible to play all the notes at once together. So you mix them to make the illusion of more sound in the listener's mind. You do this by finding the long rests and long notes and filling them with chords or fills. Here are some eighth notes followed by a whole note that stretches into the next measure. One, two, three, four, one. See how much space that is. Let's fill it. And on to the next one. Fill and put a fill in there. Okay. There are many ways to play a line, but some fingerings work better than others. There's nothing wrong with that, but see how busy it is. A lot of finger movement, and each note is cut off by the next note. Compare that to this. There's zero left hand movement, and each note is on a different string, so it rings out like a little bell. It's better, but still not the most efficient. If you do this, this puts you in position. To play the next chords, and now you have an efficient fingering. <laughs> a micro habit is like a lick. Take the fingerings you worked out in step two and practice them slowly until you really know them. This one here, for example, always gives me a hard time. I just crash it all the time. Pay close attention to what your fingers do. They're more independent than you think and knowing the next place your finger is going to go is more important than how fast it gets there. Examples. Or, or, Playing a song is like speaking. Each musical phrase is like a sentence. Phrase one. Phrase two. Here's another. Phrase one. Phrase two. 
Practice each phrase until it feels automatic. Now you can string the chunks together, allowing muscle memory to dictate the details while your conscious mind directs the flow. So there you are, the four steps to chord melody. Fill in the blanks, work out your fingerings, develop micro habits, and break your song into chunks. Give them a try. Start with something really simple. Be patient with yourself. I always like to say the practice is learning to tolerate yourself sounding bad until you play good, and then find something new to play bad. <laughs> If you dig these videos, uh, please subscribe or come visit elborco.com and get an album. You know, they're cheaper than a hamburger and they last longer. Until next time, be of good cheer, drink some beer, and have no fear.